SiteKit, Google's official WordPress plugin. SiteKit has been in beta for s several months now, and on Halloween 2019, Google Webmasters has announced that it's available for everyone. So let's take a look at Google SiteKit. You can go to sitekit.withgoogle.com and learn all about it. <clears throat> you can come here to the wordpress.org and download it if you need. But if you go to plugins and just search for SiteKit, you'll find it here. <clears throat> Go ahead and activate it. I always share data with Google. The friendlier you are with Google, the friendlier they are with you. Keep that in mind. Start setup. Okay. For most of you, you're going to have one website, one email, one uh, Google Analytics account. So by default, it's going to give you the site that you're working with. As I have an agency, I have several websites and I'll show you where that comes into play in a moment. But for most of you, just make sure you have the right website here. <coughs> I'm going to log into the corresponding email. Allow it. And that's it. It literally connects that quickly. PageSpeed Insights. That simply uh, scrape your URL on PageSpeed Insights and it gives you a report. This site is under development, so it hasn't been optimized or anything. But you, you've got your speed report here. <clears throat> In the case of something like AdSense, I don't use on this site. I don't have an AdSense account for this email. So I'm going to show you the example that if you don't, have one of the services that uh, SiteKit offers, it's going to try to find it, and then it's going to say, hey, you don't have an account, create it. So it'll prompt you here to create the account if you don't already have it. The thing to keep in mind here is it's better, and if you come here, edit, you can disconnect it. It's better to have... Google Analytics, Search Console, Tag Manager, Google Optimize, have these services already set up so that when you come into SiteKit, you can just very quickly connect them. They're all going to connect like I did in the very beginning with Search Console. While I'm here, I'm going to show you real quick. Admin, there's that tracking that I allowed. And then Reset will just literally reset the plug in and you'll start from scratch. <clears throat> so I don't have Optimize, Tag Manager, or AdSense for this particular site. I do have them all connected for Benetrage.com, my, my main site, but not for this site. But it's the same thing. You're just going to literally uh, connect it to the account. Now, pick the corresponding mail. And in a moment here, you're going to see that it's not going to connect, which is counterintuitive. Uh, for most of you that have one account and you've logged into that email, it'll be here. For me, it's a little bit different because as an agency, the Benetrage is the main admin for four different websites. So what SiteKit is wanting is the email that corresponds to that, to this website that I'm trying to connect to it, be a user of the, the website. So it's a very simple solution. When you have multiple sites like I do under one admin, you're just going to come down here to admin and analytics, user management. Up here, you're going to add new, add a user, and then add the corresponding email all right picked it up there 
and give it the permissions. For those of you that only have one site or email, you'll want to pick manage users so that it's the main admin and you can add and manage other users. In this particular case, as Benetraj is my main account, I'm leaving it off. And this is a little caveat for you guys that may have multiples like I do. If for some reason this email or that site got hacked, I don't want to give any kind of access to my main admin that would cause havoc that someone could come in and delete all my analytics accounts. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you have multiples like I do, I would leave manage users off. That's totally optional. So just add it. Here it is. So now if I come back here, see, there it is. So I wanted to show you that because some of you may come across where uh, you can't find your site and it's because you've got multiple sites. So just make sure that the course, the emails correspond and that you have admin rights to that Google Analytics property. So here I'm going to configure it. Okay, and it's connected just that quickly and easily. I can come into it's you see here it added site kit so I can come into the specific report for analytics. I can come into the specific report for search console. And the same thing with your you would have tag manager and optimize here AdSense. Now you see here the snippet is inserted. I don't know if it's going to show me. Okay. So <clears throat> if you you already have the Google Analytics snippet, the code snippet on your site, it'll tell you, you know, uh, there's already a code snippet for this property. If you care to choose it, we can insert one for you. Just make sure to uh, delete or disable the old snippet. So what I'm getting at is if you already have Google Analytics verified in your site through code, it knows and it will allow you to still connect. But in this case, I've removed the code so that you can see that you can add the snippet. This, when you don't have the snippet, it'll say uh, something like not at this time and add snippet. Obviously, I do, as you see, do you want to remove? I obviously do have it, and it's giving me the option to remove it. So what I'm getting at is one of the beauties of this is you don't have to add code to your site, which means you don't have to know code. You don't have to hire someone that knows code to insert these codes. You don't have to have a plugin to add code to your site. The site kit will automatically link to your Google properties and it'll insert the snippet. And that goes for tag manager, that goes for optimize, that goes for all these services. It will automatically add them and even create the, uh, insert the container or insert the code for these services. Once it's set up, you get in the typical WordPress dashboard, a quick overview, and then you of course have the site kit dashboard, which is everything that you have. You can also here search for a title or a URL and get data specific. There's your page speed insights. <laughs> and your overview of what's going on. This site is in development, so it's tr gonna try to populate data and it will with, you know, not, not a, it doesn't take a whole lot of time, but this site just doesn't have a lot of data to pull from. Benetrage.com, which I set up earlier, it all populated right away and there's, you know, that site's been live for about a year, so there's all kinds of uh, data here. 
anyways, it's just that simple. It's free. You don't have to deal with a bunch of code. You get to have your analytics here right in your WordPress site. Uh, it's very simple and quick to set up and it's straight from Google. So now you're not going through another plugin that's perhaps interpreting Google's data. This is straight from Google and it looks very much like Data Studio, which I like. The last thing I'll mention here is that these are connected services. So this just came out. Uh, there's a very good chance that they could add more services like G Suite or Google My Business or even Data Studio, and this could expand. Either way, even if it's just this, it's a huge time saver and hassle saver because you can just set up your tag manager, your optimize, you've got your analytics in your search console, you can even see your speed report. So it's pretty sweet. It's real quick and easy. This video is now 11 minutes. I've spent probably five of it showing you stuff and two to five minutes actually connecting. As you can see, it's very quick and easy to do. If you ever need to, you just come into the individual uh, service. Some of these, like Search Console, it doesn't let you take it away, but if I really wanted to see here, I could disconnect analytics, change the snippet if I really wanted to. And you always have this option of wiping everything and starting over again. Okay, so that's basically the uh, site kit. It's real simple, real quick. I think it's really great, and uh, I think it'll be very useful to all web developers, also to to uh, business owners, so to site owners, and to be able to you know just come in and very quickly see what's going on without having to go to different accounts and interpreting Google Analytics and all that. <coughs> For most people, this is really a good, a quick glance and you know what's going on. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a smash the like button, subscribe and hit the little bell. I have a lot of videos coming, uh, video SEO and a short film and all kinds of good stuff coming. So stay tuned and appreciate your time. Enjoy and happy sight kidding.